Oh, hey, welcome to Death Valley. Uh, my name is Darren Hall. I'm a photographer. And this is one of those trips where it's really not about photography. Kind of escaping for just a little bit and trying to get that spark of creativity back. You know, when you're kind of always creating and you're always kind of working, it's nice to have some time to not have any expectations. And this is one of those trips. I think the plan for the day is to just hang out here, enjoy the views and the sun, and uh, see what happens. Here's a look at uh, where I'm camped. So I'm on the very west side of Death Valley Park, and Death Valley is massive. It's gotta be the biggest park. It is the biggest park in uh, the US for sure. Um, and most of it is just super, super remote, and uh, it's just great. All right, that wind picks up and it gets, uh, gets cold again. Uh, but as long as the sun stays, one of... All right, something else that's pretty unique about this spot is its proximity to like US military everything. I think 60 miles west-ish is um, China Creek, which is on the map called a naval... There we go. quickly grabbed the R5 and 100 to 400 and got some pretty shaky video but that's pretty encouraging that there could be more uh, today as well. This is one of those things where I don't know why I need to capture these planes but to me it's like the challenge and it helps I don't know this is just what I need to uh, this is what I need to do. Plus they're super cool and there was one that came like right over my camp and these are, it's super low level. Hope I got something out of this. I don't even know, like I kind of grabbed it and then I was taking a still and I'm like, oh, why am I taking a still? Let's go to video. Cause then it, <sighs> anyway. Okay, I'm gonna try to get set up better for, for next time. Probably over here. All right, no wind. It's still not about photography. It's like, it's about using photography to not think about photography. Nobody is looking at me going, Darren, I need you to get me some sweet fighter jet footage. No one. And, uh, <laughs> and there's something about that that is, is the best. Okay, another one just kind of just flew right at and right over, <laughs> right over the camera as it was almost like centered like perfectly. And um, oh, the sound, it was so low. Like I can't even, this video is just, I wish this one was on because it would have been crazy. Also notice that they only, they don't fly this way. They only come this way. In case you're journaling. But I did get something. It just wasn't, I didn't see it till the last minute because it was so low blending into the ground. Why do I find this so exciting? Man, that was just a few seconds of. but I'm pretty sure it came like right through kind of that section right there. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off, which is gonna be perfect time for another one to come.
right, the sun has gone down. That means it's cold again. But uh, it was like a great day. It was a great day just trying to capture some of those planes too was uh, was was fun. And, and just was just part of a day of just like, uh, I felt really unplugged, really aware of uh, where I was. And um, yeah, it was perfect. This was exactly uh, the day that uh, uh, I wanted to have out here. It took me three three nights in order to find it, but uh, that's okay. Good morning. Um, I had a great sleep last night and uh, it wasn't too cold. I broke down the camper, got everything ready to uh, kind of move on from here. I'm really sure the direction. I think I'm going to go towards Bishop and just figure it out from there.